Okay, in this video I'm going to show you um, how I have recorded some really cool YouTube videos using uh, presentation software, both that you may have in Microsoft PowerPoint. I have a Mac and so I use Keynote, but I'll also show you how to use Google Drive. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing you want to probably do is use some, if you have it, some presentation software like Keynote on a Mac or Microsoft PowerPoint on a PC. So here's a presentation that I put together just for this quick demo. Obviously you're going to work at it a little bit longer than I did here. But I have a nice uh, template and uh, I dropped in an image and uh, just designed it really pretty quickly and easily to make it look nice just for this demo. But you'll go through and you'll pick uh, your subject and your pictures and what you want to say and create a nice flow to your presentation. Um, my suggestion is always have more images than text. Uh, so in this case I probably have too much text. Okay, So keep that in mind. Have nice big images that say a lot more than what your words will. Okay. Um, let me show you another option and that you can use Google Drive. Okay, so I have Google Drive. You'll notice that uh, just to the right of Gmail is Drive, or it might say Google Documents. Google Drive is the home for all your files and it's really cool. You can see I have a YouTube presentation that I set up and it happens to be the same images, the same setup. I just imported it into Google Drive. So if you don't have the presentation software, you can use Google Drive, okay? Remember, it's just to the right of Gmail, right there, Google Drive. And all you want to do is create a presentation. Now you can do spreadsheets and other things for other purposes and other documents, but I'm, what I'm showing you is presentation software that's just as good as Microsoft PowerPoint, okay? So, you can see I have it, plus it's always on your hard drive, or I'm sorry, on the internet, um, under your uh, Google Drive account. And again, I just uploaded these images, okay, I exported them from Keynote, put them right up here, and so it's the same presentation on Google Drive, okay. So I just have this as a sample to show you, okay. Now I, um, let's just go ahead and hide that just for a second. Um, and now that we're, I'm back to Keynote. I use Keynote for my presentation software. For me, I would go through the presentation as playing it. So it goes full screen. I don't see my mouse. And I'm just talking to the screen. I can use my arrow key to go through the slides and talk to and, you know, remember what I wanted to say. A lot of times I may have notes because remember you're going to have more pictures most likely than words. So you don't have to put all the words you talk on the screen. Just have some bullet points that you go through. Okay, so I would do this full screen and then when I come to the end I would say you know go to my blog um, which is whoischasewift.com and check out more information. And then I would end the presentation. Okay, so let's now, now you're kind of getting a hand, handle. Uh, let's go back to Firefox and you could do the same thing. It's not quite as nice, but it's not bad. You could either do the presentation by recording this area in here, okay, or recording this area, and then just click your slides. And you're going to have this area recorded, and so your mouse can be over here just clicking through the slides and you can have notes down here that are out of the way so it will remind you what to say. This is really powerful. Okay, Very easy to do. You just click through the slides, read your notes. It looks very elegant, very simple. Now I should say when you do this you want to get rid of any uh, extra screen space that you're not needing like the web address okay, and, and bookmarks and all that stuff. So on Firefox, you can change your toolbars. And I really don't need the navigation toolbar, which is the web address and all that. 
so I can get rid of it. What that does is give me more size to my presentation. It'll make this a little bit bigger. Okay, see how it got a little bit bigger? So that seems to be a little bit better. And you can just use um, Snagit. I'll show you Snagit in just a moment. Okay, and you can put Snagit just to record this presentation slide. Okay, so as I have it outlined right now, that's what you would present. Don't worry about this extra uh, stuff on the slide or on the screen. Just record right there, and then you'll just change your presentation by clicking on the slides. Okay, you're getting it, right? Okay, so now comes potentially the tricky part, and that's using a program called Snagit. And uh, on a Mac, it has a little side panel that will open up, and you want to have it on recording video, video capture mode, and then you just capture. Okay, now I'm going to go back to, I'm going to do it with uh, Keynote. Okay, remember you could do the same thing with Google Drive. So I'm going to use, over here, I'm going to use Snagit. I'm going to capture a video capture. Okay, so I click here on the capture. Now, what it does normally is try to identify automatically what it thinks you might record. Now, I could leave um, this top area right here. It's fine. Okay, and if I click anywhere in here, it'll, you can see the slide. It's, it's recording. It's darn near perfect, except for the bottom down here. Okay, I'm going to have to adjust that. So I'll just click right in the center somewhere. And now it defines this. Now, if I want to, I could drag this little orange line up. And see, I can use that magnifier just to be really precise. Okay. And then if I want to, actually the right side is perfect. So I could record this way and then just go through the slides. It's just recording in here. And notice it's picking up my voice. Okay, make sure your microphone's set up and it's recording. This is just a test. Nothing is recording yet. Okay. Now you could do it this way. Let me just show you real quick. So we would, would hit record. And it'll give me a three second countdown. Move your mouse over to the side. And just thumb through or click through the slides. And... Uh, it's just really easy to do and it's only recording inside the yellow moving line okay so it doesn't see your mouse over here and you just go through your slides just as you normally would and then when you're done all you need to do is come up here and hit the stop record okay now it'll drop it into the um, editing window and this is really uh, really great because now you can go through and play and make sure that everything came through so let me just hit play move your mouse over to the side and just thumb through or click through the slides and uh, okay so obviously it's picking that up no problem um, you can't really edit much here but you can edit in YouTube so don't worry if you didn't quite start exactly at the beginning. If there was a little pause there, don't worry about it. If at the end of your video you have a, a natural pause again, don't worry about it. You can edit it in YouTube. Now it's as simple as setting up your YouTube account. Just your login, your password, and you click the YouTube. Okay. So I'm going to show you a different way. The way I do it, it's a little... It's nice, uh, but that was pretty good, wasn't it? How I recorded it, and you can see this looks elegant, and you can back up, okay, and, and see, skim through and see your presentation go all the way through it, and that looks pretty darn good, okay? When you know it's good, just click YouTube, set up your account, go right to YouTube, okay? It's awesome. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do this over. This is the other thing you can do. You can, if you don't like the recording, you can always start over. So just click on that little X in the top left corner, and it'll get rid of the recording. Now I'm going to go back to Keynote. I'm just showing you ideas. I'm going to get my slide on number one. Then I'm going to come over and launch. I'm going to be recording 
So I want to record a video capture and click capture. Now I am going to do a full screen recording. And I found if you go up near the top, kind of the menu bar, way up here, and just click, and you can see the resolution, 1024 by 768. That's actually a pretty good resolution to use. If you can reset and you know how to set your resolution, set it to 1024 by 768. Now in this case, I can just click, and I'm going to get the full screen. Okay. Now it's a little tricky because I don't want all the menu and all this up here, right? I really don't want that. So when I click record, I have about three seconds, as you remember, that, that countdown to get over here and hit play for me to launch uh, PowerPoint or Keynote. Okay. This is how I like to do it. It goes full screen, really nice. It's recording my voice. Okay. That's working great. It's at 1024 by 768. All I got to do is hit record and then race up here and hit play. And it'll go to full screen. It'll give me a three second countdown. And I'll be really good. Okay. So here we go. I'll show you what I'm doing. Click record and I'll have three seconds. Okay, three, two, one, launch. Well, hey, this is Chase. So I would begin with my recording. It's recording full screen. I would arrow over. when I got to change the slide and talk about why YouTube is the best advertising medium. Okay, why? Well, it's free. It's popular and it's very easy. And just scroll on to the next slide. Don't overhype anything. Make sure you have all copyright on all the content you show and talk about, okay? And then when you come to the end, you can tell them about you and how to find more information. Go to your blog or go directly to your MyPip affiliate link or whatever you're advertising. This works on lots of things. YouTube is powerful, okay? And then when you're done, I would hit just the end and then I would stop the recording, okay? so. That was really quick, and notice <laughs> it's all full screen, just like I did before. So either way works. You just have to practice and get good at this. Okay, so I got everything good. Now technically, I got a little bit. Do you see this is recorded? I can get rid of that in YouTube very easily. Okay, so I'll go ahead and do that. Now normally, I would just go right to YouTube, click this button. All you have to do is set up on a Mac. I would set up my account, and uh, I'm using a different account. Okay, so I don't want to change that. But um, you would just set up your YouTube account and you click this button. Okay, and it uploads right to YouTube. So easy. Okay, now I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to upload it manually because I have um, a. Uh, well, I, I just want to do it differently <laughs> because I got a number of things going on. So I'm going to click on upload. This is how you upload a video. Okay. Now I'm going to open up my uh, finder window. And normally you wouldn't do this, but I know exactly where that image, that video is. Okay, here it is. Well, hey, this is Chase. So I would begin. Okay, so that's my video. You can actually drag that onto the YouTube window and it'll uh, it'll start uploading okay now I haven't talked about what you type in and things like that now Paul does a fabulous training on this it's in the my pip classic on how to use YouTube SEO okay so I'll give you some basic information okay so remember what I talked about in the video okay these are very basic points that you would want to copy and put in your YouTube video. Okay, so it's information, it's content. It doesn't have to be a lot, but it can be and should be keyword focused. Okay, so I don't know what your cash, what your uh, keyword will be, but you need to have that keyword focused. Obviously, have that keyword in your uh, video, in your text. Okay. So we could just drop this in. 
And this would be the text content that you would have. So in this case, I'm just going to show sample YouTube video from Snagit. Okay. Uh, I'll say by Chase Swift. Okay. Obviously, you're going to keyword target at it. Okay. Um, and I on the category, I generally it doesn't really matter. Education is good. It's fine. How to. Um, whatever. Um, science and technology might be fine. Whatever. Whatever you're doing. I like to do how to a lot, so that's fine. Now, you'll want to do uh, tags, which is your keywords. For those of you that have access to Paul's YouTube SEO training in the MyPip Classic, you'll know what to do really powerful here. Okay, So I'll just put Chase Swift. Okay, and then hit enter. Okay, and that'll keep it as a phrase. Okay, how to market my pip. Okay, maybe that's my keyword phrase. Now, after you hit enter, it'll make that a keyword phrase. This is a little bit different than it used to be. Okay, it used to be that you put them in double quotes. Now you don't. Uh, let's do snag it example. These are keywords that you could search for to find this video. Okay, snag it example, hit enter. Okay, so we have um, the title, we have the description, um, and I should all you should always put um, your domain or somewhere. Actually, yeah, I'll put it down here. Let's just put my name here. Okay. Whatever you want to put as far as contact information is good. I'm going to put my blog. Okay. And typically you want to have that. I'll give you a tip. You need to have that in the first line. And probably have something, your main point in the first and second lines. Because people can read that. Okay. So this video is uploaded. Okay. And everything else looks good. The only other thing I do is go to advanced settings and sometimes put the recording date. That's really more for me. Okay. I allow people to put comments. Comments are good. If they put a negative comment, you can delete it. But getting comments on your videos is good. Everything else I leave the same. Just go back to basic info. Make sure I got my title, description, and tags. Also, you can pick which thumbnail you would like. And it takes something from the beginning, somewhere from in the middle, roughly, and somewhere towards the end. And uh, I'll just choose that one as the thumbnail. And then make sure uh, it's already saved, by the way. Now, sometimes it, they try to fix things. I'm not going to worry about it. I'll say no thanks. Okay. Also, right after it's saved, and you can see a thumbnail of it, you can also get the share link right away. Okay, so that way if you need to share it on your blog or other things like that, and then you can even get the embed code right away. This is the embed code to put it on your blog, so you just copy that. After the video is all done, you can get both of these links and the embed code. It's really handy, okay? And I don't worry about, you know, I don't check any of these things when I embed videos. And by the way, putting it on your blog is super powerful. Okay, that's another tip. Okay, so I'm done with embedding. I don't need to share the link. And now I can just go back to my video manager. And you're going to see, okay, it's still working on the uh, thumbnail. But if I click on edit. And let's go to, um, let's get play, and then I'll go full screen. Well, hey, this is Chase. So I would begin with my recording. It's recording full screen. I would arrow over. And I got to change the slide and talk about why YouTube is the best advertising medium. Okay, why? Well, it's free, it's popular, and it's very easy. 
and just scroll on to the next slide. Don't overhype anything. Make sure you have all copyright on all the content you show and talk about, okay? And then when you come to the end, you can tell them about you and how to find more information. Go to your blog or go directly to your MyPip affiliate link or whatever you're advertising. This works on lots of things. YouTube is powerful, okay? And then when you're done, I would hit just the end and then I would stop the recording. Okay. So you'll notice at the very end, okay, I got this part. Remember how I said you could edit that? Well, you can. So now that I got everything done on this video, it's there, but it has this end part right at the end where it has the, the, the menu and all that other stuff. You can see that. It's not really working here. It's biting me. But anyway, what you can do now is uh, go to the video manager. Okay. And then once you uh, get the, uh, well, once you at your, at, once you're at your video manager, go to video editor. This is a really powerful editor. So click on video editor. Okay. Now this is the video I just did. You'll see a little plus button. And you'll see all my other banner or all my other videos, by the way. And so I'll just click the plus button, and that loads the entire video there. Okay. Now this is a little tricky. It'll take a little uh, practice, but you can basically advance over to the end, and it kind of does its thing, and it doesn't really work. Hit play sometimes. Okay. Well, and then drag it over. What's happening is you're, and then I would stop coming down to the end. Okay, now see this little white line, white bar with the gray? That allows you to edit. And my total time is 55 seconds. If I start dragging in, it starts cutting off the end. So I want to back it up, and it's about oh, 53, and you just move it slightly over there. See how on the right-hand side I see the black? If I go a little bit further at 55... Uh, it's not really showing. This is hard. Okay, 54.1. There, right there, 54.5. Okay, release. And you can even check it by hitting play and then advancing it over. It's not helping. Okay, hit play. Okay, and then when you're done, I would hit just the end and then I would stop the recording. It's slightly off, isn't it? 54 point. Let's get this little bar. It's tricky. 54.7. Okay. Let's check that. And hit play. Move it over. Help it out. And then I would stop the recording. Okay. That's pretty darn good. So then it'll be my edited video. So you take this video, you edit it, and we just chopped off a tiny bit at the end. Took a little practice, and you basically want to click on the title, and you'll get this white bar, and you can move it in. That'll chop off the end. You can also do the same at the beginning. If you have a pause, unnatural pause, you can just drag that in. But I've just chopped off about a third of a second, right? 0.3, something like that. Um, and then... Give it a new name. And I'll just leave it. Um, well, let's just just know that it'll be my edited video when you hit publish. Okay, and YouTube will now take that. <laughs> it's processing. This is so cool. You can actually fix stuff at the end. Okay, when you didn't quite get it right, don't worry. And it's being processed. It'll be done in a few minutes. Now, this is a pretty short video. It should go pretty quick. So I'm going to go back up to Video Manager. Okay. And again, you could transfer the data over from, you know, the title, the keywords, the description. Just copy and paste it over here. I should have done that uh, first. If you click on Edit, it's still churning and burning, but it does have this. So let me show you what I would do. I would go to Video Manager, 
and get the information from this video, which is already done. Click Edit. Okay. So select all in there. Copy. And you'd have to do some keywords. Okay. How to market my pip, snag an example, and chase whip. And also do that. Let's just do this. Okay, so I got the title in there. Let's copy all of this. Okay, so I got the title in here, all the description, and I can do the keywords on the second video. Okay, I'll go ahead and hit save just to save it. Go back to the video manager. <laughs> it's work. It's done on the edited video. Short video did it pretty quickly. Go to edit. Okay, this doesn't have the right information, so we want to get rid of that. So we'll delete that. Right click, paste, okay, it's got all my blog content, or I'm sorry, my content. Now I could take this, and I'll actually have two videos, okay, you could delete the first one, and I think I'll do that, okay, now let's come down here, let's get rid of that, that's not helpful, so choose Swift, enter, um, what else is it, um, YouTube video for my pip is another potential. It's not very good, but you get the point. And then snag it example J Swift maybe. That's another way. Okay, and hit that. So these are the ways you can find this video. Okay. And remember, you're going to do keyword focused. Okay, you got to learn on that on the SEO, um, YouTube SEO, and the MyPip Challenge. That's it. Okay, advanced settings. Let's put the record date. That's all I do. Pick the thumbnail. Okay, I think that one will look much better. And click save. Back to Video Manager. Okay, it's going to work on these. It has to generate a new thumbnail. And this one is 56 seconds. This one's 55. So once this is done, you can come back here and delete the other one. Okay? Go under Actions, right to Delete. And it'll say, Are you sure you want to delete? Now I'm going to cancel it just because I think it might be copying and doing some stuff. Okay? That's how you can get rid of the one that was too long and save the one that's just the right length. Okay, let's look at this one more time. Okay, it hasn't updated the uh, thumbnail yet. It will give it time. Uh, we got all of our title, all of our description, all that good stuff, our keywords. Back to video manager. There it's done. Okay, it didn't take long at all. Short video. Okay, so now this one I'm done. I don't need it. And you guys can search for this one. Sample YouTube video from Snagit by Chase Swift. And we'll get rid of this one. We'll go into Actions and Delete. Isn't that cool? Remember, you got the video editor to take out any anything at the end or at the beginning. In the middle, you can't really fix that. It's hard. Okay, so there you go. You have your uh, YouTube up. <clears throat> using Snagit, which is running here on the side, okay, and <clears throat> using either Google Drive, okay, doing a nice presentation on Google Drive for free, okay, and then the rest of it's YouTube, okay, we all, we all got that, and then the only other thing is, you know, some text, you're going to have keyword focus, all that good stuff, okay, and uh, then the last thing is if you're using Snagit, once you've got that video done, you can close it. Okay, and this this will kind of delete it um, from the editor. Okay, so you can just click that and it's gone. And you're ready for the next video. And then you have your presentation on your Keynote or PowerPoint, whatever you're using. Some of you would just be using Google Drive. Okay, I think that was the most comprehensive way to make videos to show you how to do it. And it's free, guys. And when you get this and do uh, the keyword SEO that Paul teaches, 
you'll get leads nonstop on autopilot for free forever. It's awesome. You'll love it.